Hi, my loves. How are you? Hope everything is good with you. Um, today, I want to do an, uh, another walkthrough. So, if you are new to my channel, I want to welcome you. If you have been around and are on my channel, I want to thank you for all that you guys do for me. Um, I love you guys. You, This channel has become so much more than I thought it was going to be, and I love you guys for it. So, thank you. Um, so I want to do the, uh, Fantastical Creatures Tarot, and this is by Lisa Hunt and DJ Conway, and this is a U.S. Games deck. So here is the box, and the Mystical Powers of Fantastical Creatures Tarot <clears throat> from the world of mythology and folklore are brought to life through captivating imagery ideal for divination, magic, and meditation. It has 78 cards and instruction booklet. Um, I hate these boxes. Just to let you know. I'm not a fan of tuck boxes, so put that aside. And here is the little white book that it comes with. Let's see what this is all about. This is a 2007 uh, U.S. Games publication. Uh, it has acknowledgments and dedication. It has an introduction. And then it goes right into the major arcana and the minor arcana. And it does have um, what these are. So like the magician is a winged cat. Um, the high priestess is an Egyptian U A Z I T, you know, and uh, the Empress is the Morgan, so it does have um, that. So, and then it goes into the minor, and that's about it. No spreads in here. Um, it has a thing on using the deck, so it's a 70, like 71 page little white book. So, that, um, it does come with, and these are adorable, it does come with some little quick reference cards that has some key words and some key meanings on them for the major and the minor, minor arcana, which is nice to have, you know, for a quick reference in case you're mind blogged like I, I get once in a while. So, card stock is nice, nice card stock. There's the back of the cards. Fully reversible. If you read reverse, I don't, but. Okay, so. Let's go on to the cards. They are kind of glossy. So they're a very glossy feel to them. So the first one is the Fool. Let me put, I gotta put something under my arm. I feel like I reach with this new cam or new uh, tripod. It feels like I'm reaching across the table. Yeah, that's better. Okay. <coughs> beautiful, beautiful. I like these. So we have. Um, I'm gonna read you the reference cards just for the heck of it. So um, the fool. And I don't know how to say some of these words, guys. So if I'm screwing them up, just forgive me. Uh, am this Baina? Amphisbaina, I guess. I don't know. I have no clue. Um, is the unexpected. We have the magician. Beautiful magician. I love that. Uh, the winged cat. Determination to reach a goal. Very cool. The High Priestess is the Ua Zit. Intuition and Secrets. I like that. The Empress is the Morgan for joy and prosperity. We have the emperor. Emperor is Pegasus. The 
The High Priestess is Ronk. R U H K. And that is a spiritual advice. The lovers, the spawn, risky commitments. The chariot is a uh, centuras, sustained efforts to win. We have strength as the Oriental Dragon. Don't give up. I love this Hermit card. Hermit is the old lady of the Elder. Oh, my nose. Quiet is needed. Isn't that beautiful? The Wheel of Fortune is the Sphinx, or a cycle ends. I don't mind these borders on this either. I think it just does the cards justice, so uh, they're pretty borders. Uh, the next one is Justice, which is the Lion Dogs for unpleasant events. Not a lot of color in these cards, but they're pretty. Uh, the Hanged Man is Medusa. Suspension of movement. And then we have the Death card, which is Anansil, Anansi, Anansi, Drastic Changes. Temperance is the Lady of the Lake and her growth. I like that sky. Very pretty. Next, we have Chains. That's different. Uh, that's uh, Fernet, Fen, Riz, Wolf, Obsession, and Illusion. That's a very pretty card. Love that. And we have the tower, which is Kraken. Devastating events. That one's got a little more color in it with the blue. Sorry, guys, I am freezing. Uh, the star is a firebird, the firebird, which is success against opposition. That one has some more color in it too with the red. The moon, unicorn, look for the truth. The sun is the winged lion. For courage is needed for success. I love that. It's very pretty. Judgment is dragons for time of positive change. And the last of the major is the world. And the world is the rainbow serpent. Good things to come. So next we have the cups. 
And these were out of order um, when I got them, so I had to put them back, put them in order. And they have the little cup symbol up there on the top, so you know. Uh, Ace of Cups, which I don't really understand why they did that because it says cups down there on the bottom, but. So the Ace of Cups is for uh, the cycle of emotions. Two of Cups is uh, time to make up. Three of Cups, uncover the truth. I like him. The Four of Cups is emotionally withdrawn. Isn't that cool? I like that. The Five of Cups, emotional loss. Six of Cups is memories and friends. Those colors are pretty. I like that. Seven of Cups is for disappointment. The Eight of Cups, cut your losses. Very pretty. Nine of Cups is for uh, triumph, success. I love the turtle. Very muted colors on this. Uh, Ten of Cups is secure family life. Page of Cups, Emotional Risk. I don't know if I really like a lot of these uh, keywords, but they're not nice to have. Like they have on the cards here. Uh, Knight of Cups is Deep Involvement. Queen of Cups, strong psychic feelings. I like that blue. It gives a little bit more color. The King of Cups is um, unsteady emotions. Now on to the swords. Like I said, these are all out of whack here. What do we have? Um, rams there, maybe. Powerful new beginnings. Two of swords is a stalemate. Beautiful. This is creepy. Three of Swords. Three <laughs> is a heartache. That's kind of creepy. Uh, four of Swords <laughs> is rust period. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Kind of a part turtle part. I don't know. Five of Swords is Betrayal. Oh, can you guys see him? I don't know what he's supposed to be. It's got like the turtle back, tur turtle of a bat. Or the back of a turtle. 
Six of Swords is travel. This is a pretty card. That pink's in the... Those colors are pretty. Seven of Swords is mind games. I guess it leaves you enough room on these cards that you could write your own, you know, keywords on, on these cards. The Eight of Swords would be Diplomacy and Evasion. I like this one. Nine of Swords is for Balancing and Karma. That's pretty. Ten of Swords is for Major Life Changes. That's cool. Page of Swords, Beware of Trickery. The Knight would be Violent and Disagreements. Queen of Swords, New Opportunities. The King of Swords would be uh, Need Accurate Thinking. Now under the wand. They say the Ace of Wands is for freedom <clears throat> from restraint. Two of Wands, be careful what you ask for. Three of Wands, patience and planning. Four of Wands, Well-Earned Rest. Oh, I love this next one. Five of Wands is Unforeseen Obstacles. I love that. Six of Wands is Success After Struggle. Seven of Wands, this is pretty too. Important message. This one's gorgeous. Eight of Wands is for rapid movement. Nine of Wands, cycle of completion. Ten of Wands is for a heavy burden. Page of Wands, look beyond illusion. That's beautiful. This looks like another Pegasus. Um, the Knight of Wands is good changes coming. Queen of Wands is Happy Social Events. I think I have another one of these decks coming. I don't know. Um, I didn't order to, but it keeps saying on my order that it's being shipped. So I don't understand if it's just screwed up because it's already been delivered. I don't know. I don't need to, but unexpected good news is the king. Oh, 
Oh, he's cute. The Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Cycle of, of Emotions. Oh, I'm sorry. Unexpected help. It's going to say that doesn't make sense. <clears throat> the Two of Pentacles is juggling finances. Three of Pentacles is uh, opportunities. Four of Pentacles is financial security. That's pretty. Five of Pentacles is a possible financial loss. Six of Pentacles is Abundance. <laughs> These are neat cards. Very different. Uh, seven of Pentacles is Gain Through Effort. This is creepy. I mean, some of them are creepy and some of them aren't creepy. You know, it's kind of a, a difference. Whoop, the puppy's hitting the table. You know, so it's kind of, I don't know. It's a very different deck. The Eight of Pentacles is for cut your losses. Nine of Pentacles, success and triumph. Some of the keywords I can see where they... They go, but some of them I don't know if I like. Secure family life, Ten of Pentacles. Um, page of Pentacles, emotional risk. Now see, I don't read them this way. I read them as people when I do readings. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is a deep involvement. Queen of Pentacles is strong psychic feelings. And the King of Pentacles is unsteady emotions. So guys, that was the keywords that they have um, with the deck. Um, I don't agree with all of them, but some of them, some of them are okay. Um, but that came with the deck, so I thought I'd read them to you guys. Um, I absolutely think this deck is, it's an okay deck. I don't know if I'm in love with it by any means. Um, it's different. Uh, some of the cards are okay. Um, some of the cards are very muted in color, but there are some really neat cards in here. Not saying I like everything in this deck, but I don't like that they have the, uh, you have the, the words on the bottom. You don't need the symbol at the top too. So I think that's kind of an overdone, you know, something that you didn't really need to do, but, um, it's okay. You know, it's an okay deck. Um, so I hope you guys like that. That was the Fantastical Creatures Tarot by Lisa Hunt and DJ Conway. So, and that was a U.S. Games. So, I hope you guys like that. Um, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, guys, and hit that like button if you want to see more. Uh, returning, um, if you're returning to my channel, I want to say thank you. And I love you guys. I love all of you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day.